Hello from Universal Hi. Studios, a very windy day yes. at Universal. What are we here today to do, Brennan? We're here to check out the holiday offering. That is accurate. So we're going to go inside <laughs> Universal Studios Florida. In lieu of a parade this year for the holidays, they have a bit of a walkthrough experience in one of the sound stages. We're going to check that out. They also have a tribute store that they've converted into a holiday store. And then there's a Thanksgiving crepe, I'm pretty positive, at the crepe stand. And then we're going to go over to Islands of Adventure to meet the Grinch because there's a very interesting modified meet and greet experience with the Grinch this year over at Islands. So we're just here, like you said, to check out the holiday offerings. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Fantastic. There's also something else that I'm going to mention. So for this video and for the next five videos, I'm going to be dropping in relatively subtle hints that are going to combine into something that I want you guys to be on the lookout for. So if you notice what all of these individual clues combine, to create, then it, there may be a bit of an opportunity for a giveaway for that. <laughs> so I'm not going to mention that again for the next several videos. Just keep an eye out for what you think may be a clue, and then we'll see what it combines to end up being. Are you ready to go inside? I'm ready. Let's do it! The archway entrance into Universal is decorated for the holidays. Universal is calling this the holidays featuring Macy's balloons instead of Universal's Holiday Parade featuring Macy's. So it's a little bit different, but still gonna have some fun. Holiday time here at Universal today. All right, so we are inside the park and there's some fun Christmas characters, holiday characters out on stilts to greet everybody as we head into the park. Hello. Hi. You're wearing a, a little Christmas mask, right? Yeah. yeah. It has cats on it. Yeah. So that's fun, nice and festive and thematic. And I think we're gonna head over to the sound stage to check out the Macy's balloons, first and foremost, and then off to get a Christmas crepe. A Thanksgiving crepe. <laughs> All right, so this is Universal's holiday experience featuring Macy's balloons inside of a sound stage right behind Hollywood Rip Ride Rockets. So I wonder if there's a wait time for this. I don't think that there's any kind of a reservation system for this, but I guess we're gonna find out. So there is a wait time. It is only five minutes though, which is pretty manageable. I wonder which sound stage we're actually gonna be going into. If it's gonna be one of the Halloween Horror Nights sound stages. It kind of looks like it is. Okay, so let's look inside this sound stage. Which this is the sound stage that I waited in as part of the extended queue for the Halloween Horror Nights house that was over there. That was the Bride of Frankenstein. So that makes a lot more sense. Okay, here we are inside the sound stage. Look at all of these balloons and different parade floats. This is the soundtrack that they use for. The parade itself. Yeah, Gru's way over there by his float. That's where we came in, right over there. And here's Gru, just hanging out. We just took a selfie there's King with him. Over there. Yep, there's King Julian, right over here by his floats. This is the Madagascar float, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we just took a picture with King Julian and Puss in Boots right over here. We're passing by some of the Shrek floats. Wow, it is just very, very cool just what this experience is now and what it was just a few weeks ago. All right, so we stepped aside because this is the line to get a picture and meet Santa Claus. There he is right there next to his float. This is a pretty popular line over here. It's the longest line, but he is Santa Claus, so it makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna take a selfie with Santa and then check out the last couple floats and then probably head off to get a crate. Okay, so we just met Santa Claus and now we are heading back outside and it is snowing. It is snowing outside. So that was fun, right? Yeah. That was super cool. Santa liked my Christmas kitties. <laughs> he did. Okay, now let's head over to, I guess, the crate stand, probably. I think we're gonna be splitting a Thanksgiving crate. It only took a few minutes to actually walk through and get the holiday experience, but that was still very cool. And just to see what they did with it in the short span of time that they had was actually really, really neat. So we're heading over to the crepe stand and what we've mentioned that we're getting is gonna be the Thanksgiving crepe that they've introduced this holiday season. I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but I'm pretty positive it's gonna be relatively similar to the gobbler that you can get at, at Wawa or pretty much just any Thanksgiving um, snack which is probably going to be gravy and, and turkey, potentially stuffing and cranberry sauce, but we will see what it actually ends up being. Okay, so we are in line to get a crepe, and all of the Shrek characters came out. There's their floats 
it's way over there. What is happening? Well, this is a fun surprise as we await our trait. Okay, well this is neat. So I did look it up and what is in the Thanksgiving crepe is, uh, it is turkey, it is gravy, it is stuffing, cranberries, and then cornbread crumbles. Okay, so we're waiting on our crepe and I wanted to run over to the front of the Shrek floats to check it out. There's Shrek and Fiona right up there. And then all of the villagers and the fruit fly mice. Just a lot of fun and very entertaining while we've been waiting for our crepe. All right, so we have our Thanksgiving crepe. And here it is. It is way deep in there. But yeah, we're gonna have to like eat a lot of crepe to like get to the goods, but... <laughs> Which that's always kind of the problem that I have with the crepes, is that it's kind of a lot to work your way down to what the crepe actually is. But we are gonna share this and enjoy it and then tell you what we think, right? Yeah! Alright, so we just finished up with the crepe. Mm -hmm. What did you think? I liked the crepe. I thought it was really good. I went into it thinking that the turkey was gonna be dry and it was actually really good dark meat. So that was what made me really like it. I was a little bit underwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. I, I had incredibly high expectations for it and it didn't quite meet them. It was still good. It was just there was something that was missing a little bit, whether, whether it was more gravy or more stuffing some sort of a combination and then the crepe itself just felt a little bit off because it was kind of sweet i don't know it was still good but i'm a little bit underwhelmed okay so now we are on our way over to the tribute store the christmas store which is right next to mummy and we're walking down this section of new york which is always very beautifully decorated and lit up at nights i'm gonna have to come back and appreciate this without a doubt so that is the tribute store right across from uh, the Christmas tree. Now what I want to do before we go into the Christmas store is I want to find Earl the Squirrel. So if you don't know this, Universal hides Earl somewhere in this Christmas tree and he pops out occasionally. So I want to try to find him because I've never seen him before. And there he is. Oh my god! There's Earl the Squirrel. Do you see him? I see him. He's so cute. He's right there above that little yellow <laughs> ornament. And he's wearing a mask. There he is. Do you see him? Wearing his little Christmas mask and he has to get some little like ornaments in his in his hands. There he is. Well that's just adorable. Okay, we have finally seen Earl the Squirrel. That's something they do every single year. They just hide Earl in the tree and there he goes. Backing up back inside the tree. Okay, are you ready to go inside the store? He's so cute! Okay, so here we are about to go inside Christmas store. This is gonna be super cool and I'm pretty sure that Earl plays a pretty significant role inside the store, so it was pretty relevant to get to see him. So, all right, hopefully we're gonna get some snacks and or drinks in here, probably some snacks. Some sweet, delightful, Christmas-inspired snacks. It's kind of incredible how fast they flip this from the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store and now it's the Christmas store. Well this is just whimsical. It's snowing in here too. Okay, this is just adorable. I'm sure that there's a few different rooms in here to see as well. Okay, it looks like it's not actually snowing, it's projected snow. You wanna get a picture? So this was the first room, and now we're heading into the next room, which is Dr. Seuss, specifically how the Grinch stole Christmas inspired. Oh, this is just really, really cool. I'm still so impressed that they flip this so fast. This is honestly so cool. And just how each room has kind of a photo opportunity attraction. I don't know, because that's just really, really unique. And now we're heading into yet another room, and I think this next one is probably going to be more specific to Earl the Squirrel. Brennan's getting some masks. Yay! Look at that. Some Universal Studios holiday masks. Now we're heading down this hallway with a bunch of posters on either side of the wall. This is going to be Earl the Squirrel's holiday tree farm is where we're heading next, I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, this is the Harry Potter themed 
bathroom. Oh no, I'm gonna spend so much time here. I'm overwhelmed and incredibly enthusiastic about this. This is incredible. It even feels a little bit chillier in here to kind of match the ambience of the snow-covered trees. A lot of this is just regular merchandise. I don't know if it's specifically that. I mean, they have like decorations over here, like stockings and Christmas tree ornaments, but this is so neat. Okay, so the next one is the Girl the Squirrel themed room, which seems to be one of the more popular rooms. Okay, so on to the final room. This is the one I was talking about. This is Earl the Squirrel's Tree Farm. We're nuts about trees. And I think this is where you can buy food. I think the previous room was where you could embroider some merchandise. I guess we'll have to see if you can actually buy food here. I think you can. So this is without a doubt the most popular room in the entire store. This is where you can get the food. Right here, this is where you can get the gummy lights, which are those right there. Over here is the sweet treats, where you can get like cookies and cupcakes, it seems, and brownies. Right next to that one is where you can get hot chocolate and eggnog, and then across from that one is where you can get the sticky buns, so like the cinnamon rolls. So Brennan's in line getting what she got. I think I'm gonna get a uh, Amiga Pecan sticky bun right over here, but there are a lot of different choices. I'm very tempted to get some eggnog too. Okay, so we have our snacks. We're heading outside. That was super cool to see. Are you jamming out? Pretty nice, oh, yeah. my eggnog that I got. I have my sticky bun. <laughs> and then I'll show you what she got. It's a sentence. red velvet candy cake pop. A red velvet candy cake pop. And here it is, the final room. Here's Earl the Squirrel. Right there, and here we are, back outside, kind of near where we got in line. And we need to eat this pretty fast, uh, because we have to head over to Island Adventure actually pretty soon to meet the Grinch. Okay, so we found a spot outside the New York Public Library, and Brennan, what did you get again? It's a red velvet candy cane cake pop. Okay. So. It looks very intricately designed. Ooh. Whoa, I didn't see that. <laughs> Is it cold? Mm. Okay. So this is peppermint, and then this is the red velvet on the inside. That's actually really good. But is it cold? Is it chilled? Or is it room temperature? It's a little bit chilled. Okay. Is it good? Okay, so this is the maple pecan sticky bun. I am, between just pouring eggnog on myself and now being covered in this, I'm very sticky. But what else is new? Mmm. <laughs> oh no, that is... That is so good. Is that warm? And warm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. The perfect pairing. Mm. It's like extra cinnamony eggnog. <laughs> I'm glad you really like good. it. My hands are like kind of, my fingers are stuck together right now. I thought you were about to just like throw down a sick beat. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so we are all done with our snacks. We'd eat them relatively fast because we have to head over to Islands right now. Right now, Brennan is holding onto the camera until I can yeah. <laughs> make it to a sink because my fingers are, are pretty much stuck together completely. So, <laughs> Brennan, how are you enjoying the, the camera there? It's heavy, you but You feel it's like good. a vlogger? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's go to Islands. We have like 15 minutes to make it over there. Okay. Okay, hands have been washed and we're heading over to Islands. There's a food truck back there that we're probably gonna have to come back, or maybe I'll just come back and try to eat something from that. I we are by no back. means done with the holiday season at Universal. I want to go back for the gingerbread whoopie pie that they had. Ooh, I saw that. It looked incredibly good. Here's some more characters. And off we go to Islands. We also need to come back and do the Christmas tree hunt. They had that last year, and they're doing it again this year. And I think we're gonna come back and do it with our friends Max and Naomi. Hopefully, at some point this season, because we did the Halloween tree hunt with them and it would only make sense to do the Christmas tree hunt with them too. Okay, so a lot of speed walking later. We made it over to Islands of Adventure. We have about 10 minutes or so to make it over to Seuss Landing to meet the Grinch. Okay, we made it to Seuss Landing. We have to head to one of the stores back here. I'm not exactly sure which one that it is, but I, I'm sure we've been to it before at some point. There's some Who characters. 
out in the street saying hello to everybody. So we are heading right over here to the bookstore. There's thing one and thing two. That's super cool. I'm sorry if the video is a little bit shaky today, but we have just been kind of booking it across the parks. Oh, they're singing. That was beautiful. Okay, so the Grinch is dancing along with the Who's. There's Cindy Lee Who right over there, so this is fun. We did make it in line for the Grinch, who we're going to be meeting in just a minute inside the bookstore here. Okay, I'm excited. Hello. Let's go. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh you scared me. I startled oh you. I'm goodness. so sorry. Hey, what is this? What is that? Oh, it's just it's a it's this really cool contraption that can like document our experience, and oh, then we like can a read, we can okay, yeah, oh, yeah. You just it's exactly like a camera. I, I just I'm so sorry. Him? I'm embarrassed. He's intelligent. Thank you. Uh, I would you know never. Him? Do you know him? Do you know him? Does he know you? She knows me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, we're taking a picture. Okay, so we just got out of. The bookstore meeting the Grinch, we had an incredible interaction, so <laughs> incredible in fact, <laughs> that we just had to get the picture we that we it. took. So essentially how it works is the Grinch takes your picture, you interact with him a little bit, he, uh, he insults you in a, in a bunch of flattering ways. <laughs> it's a giant it, harassment. It really is. <laughs> and, oh, sounds like, there it goes, there goes the Sue Stolly train ride. So then he takes your picture for you. You stand up against the green screen and he poses you in a bunch of, of just awkward ways. Yeah. And he takes your picture and then you get it. So <laughs> we have a tangible, actual Christmas picture from Universal. Yay! So I wanted to come over to the Lost Continent Bridge to see if there are any who's or characters over here because this is a socially distant meet and greet opportunity right over here by Hong Kongers. And then also just appreciate all the Christmas decorations inside Swiss Landing, which we're gonna have to come back and kind of experience the nighttime experience at Universal London Islands to go <laughs> see the castle lit up at night and then see the Christmas tree lit up at night. It's gonna be an experience. So because I don't know if I actually said the name of the place where you can meet the Grinch, it is all the books you can read, the, the bookstore right over here. There's Sam I Am and the Lorax right outside. You do have to make a reservation in advance to meet the Grinch in 20 minutes increments of time. So definitely do that if you plan on meeting the Grinch. There may be a standby line, but I'm totally not sure. It's probably based on availability, but he's very popular to meet. <laughs> and he is, he's a pretty cool guy, right? Photogenic. <laughs> You're just so happy about this. Where are we gonna hang this? I don't know. I think I like it just cause the memory of doing this was so funny. We got straight up harassed. Oh yeah. In a, in a consensual way. Okay, so this concludes our adventure today at Universal and Islands of Adventure. Today was just all about getting that holiday experience in, in a pretty condensed format, getting to do what we haven't been able to do yet. And we'll definitely be back for sure for the end of the holiday season, without a doubt, because this is one of my favorite times at Universal. All right, so we're heading back to the garage, back to the car to head back home. But we had an incredible day today at Universal. We, what did we do? We did kind of a lot. We got to see the balloons. Mm -hmm. I think to, they did that really well this year. Like for I do too. I was very surprised. For like mixing suppressed. the Suppressed. I was very surprised. <laughs> I was suppressed today. Oh my god, let me get through my thoughts. I'm sorry. <laughs> for like mixing the parade and doing like the balloon showroom. I thought it was really cute and really creative. Is that your thought? Yeah, it would have been quicker <laughs> if you didn't interrupt me three times. So then we got the Thanksgiving crepe, which you liked a lot. I didn't dislike it. I at all, but something was just a little bit off about it. I would have loved for it to have gravy in it, but I recognized that gravy would have made it a mess. I so. think that that's probably what it is. I wanted it to be just drowned in gravy, but maybe next time. We'll see what happens. And then we went to the tribute store, which is a, that oh, was a big highlight so for me because it was there. so cool in there. So many photo and opportunities. The treats, the treats were really good. We're gonna have to come back and get a few more of those without a doubt. And then and we got harassed. Then we got harassed at by Islands of Adventure <laughs> by the Grinch, but that was a cool experience. I didn't, I didn't film it because it's, it's more about your actual like interaction with, with the Grinch and, and just holding a camera up to his face. You wouldn't have gotten that, that we actual would have been sincere extra interaction. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was fun. And, and now and we have this nice awkward prom photo memory. Yes, we do indeed. With the Grinch mad at us that he wasn't invited. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you soon. Thank you for hanging out with us and have a good day. Have a good night. Goodbye. Good day. <laughs>